Hi everybody, it's Mary Jo. Welcome back to my channel and thank you to everyone who's subscribing and watching. I hope that these videos do give you some comfort, help, guidance, and peace from God from Spirit. Okay, so our weekly reading is for June 24th to June 30th, 2018. The sun has moved into Cancer, the ruling planet or luminary, as the moon is not a planet, it's a luminary, even though it doesn't have any light of its own, it reflects the sun's light, it's considered a luminary. The moon rules Cancer. The pearl is the June birthstone, and in July it's ruby. So let's see what we have for us for this week. Okay, for me, the aces are always like the hand of God offering you something. It's To me, it's as important as a major because this is directly from God's source, your higher self. Now, we know the aces are all new potential, very raw potential. And with the swords, it is our mental realm. It's the, the energy of like our Libra, Aquarian, or Gemini counterparts. The element is air. So this is your mental realm. So this card is talking about your mind is awakened now. And your mind is clearer now. All right. Any new challenges that are coming up for you, you're going to be sharp here. And this is mental balance. You know, the sword is forged in a way that it is balanced or else it's no good to anyone. And it's forged in a way that it won't snap or break. So there's this clarity here with this double-edged sword. So you're sharper and clearer. You might be a little cooler, maybe a little distant in relationships, maybe aloof, maybe kind of disconnected from something or someone. But this is a very airy intellect. This is practicality. This is like the Vulcan Spock, all right, in Star Trek. Making clear-cut choices that are not emotionally driven. They're done with your head, not with your heart. And there are times, Spirit is saying, you have to detach the emotions from things. There are other times they tell you to use your heart. This card is saying you want to use that clear mental realm that is intellectual and it is logical choices. So this is a victory. Now, things that might have been clouded to you in the past are going to become very, very clear. It's going to be smooth. This is all going to be dissipating for you. All right. And um, it's also, you know, we just came off the Gemini um, full moon. So we know that's about communications or things that you're writing. Maybe you're going to be texting or emailing or even writing letters. If you still do that, telephone calls, word of mouth. This is clearing the air with you and someone or clearing the air about something that's been very clouded. Whether it was a relationship you weren't sure about, and that could be a love or it could be a family member, something at work. It could be whether you were trying to figure out if you should change your job, vocation, school, your major, um, the way you're exercising, anything with communications, this is going to be all clear now. And you might even have a separation that's a victory for you. So if something legal was going on, like this has been clear cut, the sword is down, it's done with. And if there was any distance in conversation, it could be now that the period of not talking to someone is over. No more arguing, sarcasm, ripping someone up like a razor with your words or them doing it to you. This is, like I said, a victory. So I'm glad this is a new beginning for you. Okay, so now this is work or social situation. Now, if this was something that you got into it with people, um, like I said, this is going to clear. It's a victory for you. You've stood your ground. You made a stand for yourself. Now, this is very passionate and fiery. Hopefully, it didn't become something heated argument, although it could have been very aggressive, or that you became assertive in the situation. Now, no one's hitting each other here, but everyone's putting their two cents in. So it could be, if it's at work, a lot of creative energy coming at you or a lot of energy coming at you. People are all shouting out what they want you to do or expect you to do or why aren't you doing this? And it could be in anything in your life, okay, because it's a general reading. So hopefully it makes sense to you. This is you making your stand for yourself. But I'm going to tell you again, this is not being emotional, blaming people, saying uh, harsh words. This is about getting your point across as if you were before a judge and jury. And for some of you, if it is court or are you having a, uh, to do a deposition, 
This is gonna go very well for you. It would bold well for you. It's see the back door is opening, you know, that there's a way out of the situation and you're on solid ground, even though there's steps here. You took all the steps you needed to be steady and solid. So you're gonna speak your piece clearly, directly. Like you see, you're defending yourself here. And with that seven energy, we know that you're really gonna take a stand here. So whatever this situation is with someone or something in your life or a place or situation, an item, this is definitely you getting what you want without being emotional about the situation, but stating all the facts. They cannot be denied because you have everything factually stated there, okay? So this is really more very positive for you here. All of us, hopefully. Yeah, see, this is coming to something celebratory. So if it was a court case, you win, or at least the deposition goes well and you find out this is good news, everything worked for you, it's complete. The four, it's over, it's done. You know, you have all the wands established there. Um, it's fertility there, so if there was a legal settlement, it should be coming in your favor and you should be getting um, a settlement from this. This could be going out for you too, actually. But... Um, and if it was something with a person that, you know, you made you stand with a love or relationship, maybe you had separation with them, you weren't talking for a while, you cleared the air, you worked things through with him and his family or her and her family, you know, maybe you're of different cultures and the family didn't want you to get together. You, this is you stating your case here and being accepted. So this is the engagement. This is the announcement of the engagement. Um, like a pre-engagement. This could be uh, the wedding itself, the announcement of the birth of a child, if that's something you've been fighting for or waiting for, or an adoption. This is celebration, this is graduation, confirmation, you know, communion, quinceanera, bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah, any holy celebrations that every culture has or anything festive. This is like you're, you're celebrating. This completion is joyous. And everybody's chiming in with this too here for you. You know, in the chariot card, this is your card, one of your cards, the major arcana. This is cancer. And we have another seven here. Wow. So we have two sevens. So we know this is like really making your stand here. Um, the chariot is victory. Victory at all costs for you. All right. This is like you here. <laughs> maybe in the past you weren't holding on to the reins and maybe you were distracted by something as you see she is here. Um, and in other times, I will tell you, put your hands on the, on the wheel and your eyes on the road. But Spirit is saying for this, they have guided you here. You did not have to take control of the situation. This is a very different interpretation of what they're saying. This is fair dealings in this situation with this person, place, or thing. If it's a legal case, a family, whatever it is, you acted fairly and so did they. You had a different way of handling them in the situation. It's like um, you came up with a new strategy. What, is, what wasn't working for you before, you're not butting heads with anymore. You decided to get a move on in a different way and spirit was there to help you because they saw you were trying so hard and they were like, dear one, we love you and we know this is what you want, but you're just not getting it done. We're going to intervene here and help you. So they got over the struggle for you. They got over the obstacle or around the obstacle. And if there was something within you that was very aggressive and angry, they calmed that inner beast, or at least you did. And you took control of your, your energies and your emotion. You were confident here. You didn't let your ego take over and identify with that. So this is your win. This is loyalty. It's conviction. It's victory at any cost. And you led the opposition here. Okay, with the help of spirit, with God. This is one of the better cards in the deck because it's victory. So you start with a victory and clarity here. In the mental realm, this is your emotions because this is cancer. Cancer, we know, is a water sign. It rules emotions. So you started with mental maybe ambiguity or struggle and strife went to clarity. Your passion is restored. Your energy is renewed. You're celebrating with people over this event, and you feel victorious here. You know, very confident. You see, she doesn't even have to put her hands on the wheel. She's using her mental realm to get herself to everything she desires. So this is a beautiful reading spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who's watching. Again, I'm doing a special right now to July 31st, $1 a minute for all tarot readings for new clients. So if you're interested, please go to the information below and I'll be happy to set that up for you. I do emergency readings as necessary the same day, if ever you need one. And as always, 
I wish you the best. Happy summer to our Northern Hemisphere and happy winter to our Southern Hemisphere.